Hey, I'm Jimmy from JimmyRose.me and this video explains why I decided to move from Trello to ClickUp. I've been using Trello for a long time, like it's got to be six, seven, maybe more years at this point. So it was a pretty serious decision to move over to ClickUp. Uh, there are pros and cons to both systems and we're going to dig into a few of those in this video. If you'd like to learn more about productivity and automating your business, just hit that red subscribe button below as I release regular videos to help you with getting more stuff done in less time. Like I said, I love Trello. I've been using this system for years. Let's jump over and have a little bit of a look of how I was doing things before. This system was bastardized from a few different getting things done types uh, systems that I've read about in the past. I'm just gonna go over that really quickly so you can see what I was trying to replicate in ClickUp, but it uses this ABCD system, so very important consequences if not done. Um, important tasks, nice to have tasks and tasks that I should be delegating. And then I created my own today list, which is when I uh, drag tasks at the start of each day, I drag things into here so I know what I've got to work on. The other dimension to this are the colors. So I use labels for certain daily themes. So for example, Mondays are working on content. It's a Monday right now. It's when I record my videos. Uh, Tuesdays are for promoting content or like SEO or just basically marketing and promotion. Uh, Wednesdays for relationships. And I have a daily theme for each day, right? So when I'm choosing tasks for the day, I choose ones that are actually tagged with that day. So you can see tags were pretty important to me when I was looking for a new getting things done system. Now I love this for a long time because I thought it was really great to be able to see everything you need to do on one screen. It was also great to be able to move things around easily. Like you can really quickly move things around and you can just see Trello is so fast. Like when you click things, it's there instantly. One of my favorite things about Trello is just how fast everything is. And like I said, it was cool to have everything I needed to do on one screen. But as time goes on, if you run a business, you know how impossible it is to clear out your task list. There's always more stuff that's there that you've got to do. And as more and more things built up on my list, it actually kind of became a little bit overwhelming. So I'd like get all this work done, have an extremely productive day. And then I look at my Trello and it's just like, there's so much stuff there still. And it's kind of demotivating. Sure, you could potentially use several boards. If you're a Trello user already, you, you know that you can have lots of uh, different boards. And like I've used this for everything from like feature requests to our products um, and like, uh, nice to have like one day tasks and you could separate out boards so that things you didn't want to see this week were on a different board but the process of moving cards between boards is kind of annoying like this is how you have to do it and to me that's just not fast enough you'd waste a lot of time moving tasks around so what I've wanted for a long time was a way to be able to filter out this view to only see the things that are important to me like right now but you can't really do that in Trello. Like a good example might be a start date. If there's a task that I don't want to start until next week, but I want to put it on my to-do list, or there's a task I'm waiting on someone else for, I don't want to see that until that thing comes back to me or that date arrives. And there's no real nice way to do this in Trello. So there's basically no way to hide the things that I didn't want to see um, effectively all the time. Like there is searching and filtering, but there isn't just like a default view where it's like, these are the filters that I want to apply all the time, day to day. Um, and then I can turn those off um, if I want to see more. So that led me to look for another system. Now, what I've just described is possible in so many things. Like I'm pretty sure Todoist does this. That's a very popular personal task management system. I'm pretty sure OmniFocus does. It's a really popular um, Mac equivalent. I just don't have a Mac, so I'm, I'm not even looking at that tool. But what led me to try ClickUp is that we already use this in our business. So it's already used for task management in our business with other team members. If we go over and have a look here, you can see we've got spaces for my podcast and for our software products and um, content marketing um, and a few other things. So all I did was create a private area. That's this one here. Uh, you can see the lock on it because this is my space within ClickUp now. So none of the other team have access to this. This is just my area. And I actually used ClickUp's import tool. 
I'm not gonna cover how that works, but ClickUp has a pretty good import tool from Trello. And I decided to import it in a way where I have everything in one folder. And the reason I did that is because I wanna be able to click this and see all of those lists. So you can see these are basically replicated from my Trello. I've got today, uh, I've renamed this to current major projects. That's the way I'm working now. Um, and then I've got a, a B, C, D list as we go down. It's brought in all the same labels, which was good. I mean, I might revisit this system in the future, but it's made the transition really, really simple. Like I could pretty much just stop using Trello and move to uh, ClickUp, except for the fact that I had to move all my automated workflows in Zapier to use ClickUp instead of Trello, but that didn't take too long. Uh, but otherwise, like everything was pretty smooth. And what I really like about this is all those things that used to be over here in the C and D list and stuff that I didn't really wanna see unless I was looking for them, I'm hidden off the page now. I very rarely scroll down and I feel like if I get my today list done and whatever, it just feels nicer to me. I don't have that constant overwhelm that I used to have with Trello. It's still pretty quick, not as quick as Trello. Like you see when you open something up, it takes a little while to load. Um, so that is a bit of a disappointment to me because I do spend so much time in here. And moving things between lists is pretty fast, just like it was with Trello. Not quite as smooth, but it, you know, it's not something I'm doing that often, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but the main thing now is you can have filters that are set up uh, permanently on your main view. So in this case, I'm saying if we have a start date and it's after today, I don't want to see it, basically which is awesome to be able to filter out things that I don't wanna see. Uh, and the other cool thing is that you get um, columns here. So you can create new custom fields and display them here. So something I wanna do in the future is add a field, something like value or impact to the business, like how much of an impact will this have on our bottom line and actually prioritize tasks based on that. So I'd like to be able to see that uh, on the main view here, which will be fairly easy with ClickUp. Another thing that's really cool is because we were using this for our business already, it's really easy now for me to move tasks over into a different space if I need to delegate this to somebody else. So you can move tasks fairly easy just by clicking them and then this icon here so you can stick them in a different space uh, and then assign them to someone. And if you're a fan of the Kanban view, you can switch over to board view. My only issue with this is that I'll never be able to replicate the same kind of view I had in Trello here because when you're in board view, see I've got the folder selected here. Um, it's grouped by the, the open close, literally done or not done status. So you can create different status uh, that would add more columns here, but you can't actually group by the list. So I've got those different lists and that's what I would have to do to get this kind of functionality. But I can live with that because the main reason I changed over is to get away from that view anyway. So maybe it's not such a big, uh, big deal. Now, just quickly, um, obviously there are always pros and cons to different systems. So just quickly, I'll mention one thing that does worry me about ClickUp. Now they release a lot of new features, like a lot, probably more than any other software product I've ever used. Now that may sound like a positive, but to me, it's actually a bit of a worry. And that's because it's very clear what ClickUp are trying to be. One app to replace them all. Essentially, that means they're trying to be all things to everyone. Trying to replace all your different apps. And I have always been a big fan of using apps that excel in one particular thing and connecting them with tools like Zapier or other integrations. So when I see apps that are trying to do everything, I get a little bit worried because what tends to happen is they turn into a big complicated mess. They might get slower. I mean, ClickUp are doing pretty well at this at the moment and keeping everything pretty snappy, uh, but it's kind of early days and I am worried about uh, where they're going. There aren't many all-in-one tools uh, out there that actually do a really good job of all the things they do. In fact, I don't think I can name a single one. So there's that. That's all for this video. That's why I've moved from Trello to ClickUp and so far the experience has been pretty bloody good. If you'd like to learn more about productivity, automation, getting more stuff done in less time, hit that red subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next video.